what is the minimum possible cycle time minimum cycle time equals longest task time and in this data you can see the longest task time is 54 seconds so there are three locations one and let's call this two and this is three and you have the distances between one two and three and it is obvious that one and two are close similarly two and three are close to each other so what is the layout that will minimize total distance loads will be moved if you look at x to y the total load that moves is 0 and 30 so total is 30 similarly x to z you have 80 and z to x you have 100 so the total is 180 and the last one is y to z so that will be 150 plus 130 so 280 so the maximum load is between y and z so they should be together the distance between y and z should be minimum so suppose uh, we assign x here then because z should be close to both x and y i'm going to put z in the middle and then y here so if you look at the options the correct answer will be b process layouts allow greater flexibility that's true so okay let's uh, call this location as one one and two are close by so next one two and this is three so between x and y you can see the total load is 60 and 40 so 100 between x and z 90 and 110 so 200 similarly between y and z you have 300 so again we can assign x here and because uh, x and z has 200 y and z has 300 so we should keep z in the middle so that it is closer to both x and y now if you calculate the cost so between x and y when x goes to y the distance is between 1 and 3 is 20 to calculate that cost we multiply this by 20 times 50 cents so 0.5 similarly the total distance we multiply for xz will be between 1 and 2 it is 10 this is also 10 so if you calculate the total cost for the three situations 100 times 20 is 2000 times 0.5 is 1000 the next one also gives you 1000 and the third situation gives you 1500 so you have 3500 as a total so gasoline produced from crude oil is continuous heuristic approaches to line balancing are the only approach that will guarantee optimal solutions that's not true a product focused single piece flow full production system would be called cellular layout the goal of line balancing is to assign tasks to workstation in a way that we get approximately equal time that is true which of the following is not true about process layouts so it has to be lower unit cost process layout tend to have low in process inventory that's not true method analysis chart which describes the movements of both hands simultaneous motion chart so this should be true ergonomics is an important part of shop design to consider when we automate the system so that's not true ergonomics is important when you have people working on the machines or doing some job so what should be the sample size be for activities a b and c the proportions based on what is given is this 20 divided by 100 is 0.2 for b proportion is 0.5 and this is 0.1 and the formula that we use sample size equals z over small e whole square e times 1 minus p now how to get uh, z value for that we have to make standard normal distribution chart and in this picture this middle part is 95.44 percent that's the confidence level so 0.9544 now because the total area under the curve is one the remaining area that goes into each tail is 0 0.0228 0 0.0228 so now we can calculate this point which is the z value by using excel function s for standard normal distribution and this is an inverse calculation so i n v an area to the left of z is 0 0.9544 plus 
zero two two eight this value you get approximately two so z is two and e is given as point zero four so now we can plug in the values of p and obtain sample size so equals within bracket z is two over point zero four whole square so this is the first part this part and then we multiply p times one minus p the first p value is 0.2 so equals this number times 0.2 and 1 minus p becomes 0.8 so 400 similarly this number times 0.5 and times 1 minus 0.5 is also 0.5 so 625 and the last one will be this number times p is 0.1 and 1 minus p is 0.9 That's not the definition of knowledge-based pay system. So observed time is the X bar or the average of all the data points. So if you add all these and divide by A, because there are A data points, we get 15. NT or normal time is OT times PR. So OT is 15, PR is 20% faster means 1.2. So this is 18 seconds. And finally, standard time equals normal time times AF. So in this uh, situation, we are doing allowance for workday. So AF equals 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.25, which is 1.333. So NT 18, 1.33 will give you 24 seconds. In a stopwatch time study, number of cycles that must be timed is a function of so all of the above. What is the probability that the true population of time spent mowing is exactly equal to the sample proportion? Now because we have a large sample, the probability at a single point is approximately zero. Which of the following statements should not characterize an operation strategy? So it should be A. Location decisions are closely tied to organization's strategy so that's false actually customers are everywhere if you really want to be near the customers you cannot depend on just one very large facility what is the optimal location so because we are given the shipments as well as the coordinates of the location we have to do weighted average We use this data to make a decision and let's uh, do this analysis in Excel. Let's uh, center everything. So we are multiplying weight with this score for A and we repeat this for the others and we want to do the same thing weight times score for B and repeat this similarly weight times score for c and do it for all situations now you can add this you get composite score and 75 78 and 76 so because the greatest composite score is for location b we choose location B. Micro factory is a small automated facility with a narrow product focus is true. So the point of indifference for B and C so we can use the equation fixed cost for B is 120,000 plus variable cost is 8 times quantity Q. For location C 150,000 is the fixed cost 7 is the variable cost and quantity Q. First step in developing location alternatives is identifying important factors is false. So first step is always decide on criteria for evaluating alternatives. So total annual cost at the point of indifference. So 
So first we need to find the point of indifference. If we replace this in any one of the two costs, let's say this one, that will give you $380,000 as the cost. So the correct answer is C.